Check out Strictly Street on YouTube. Hell yeah, bro. What's up, guys? Strictly Street here. Today, I got a new video for y'all. So today, gonna be getting some more Mexico action. So, um, this video is gonna be shorter than the past few videos. So I apologize about that. But uh, I just didn't really record anything at the meet. So uh, I apologize about that. That's my fault. Um, but we got some runs in. I'm going to show you all those runs. Ran a uh, 19 Camaro SS, E85, quarter intake, headers, and uh, MSD manifold. And then we also ran a LS3 Trans Am that we ran a while back, probably about a year ago. And she beat me by about a car and a half. So... Um, I wanted to run her again to see how it how it went basically to see if the car got any faster or not but uh anyways guys let's go ahead and get to the runs and we'll go over them afterwards So y'all saw the runs um, Trans Am We got her this time So I was super happy about that um, I'm actually pretty close with those people now So um, yeah I actually got her this time I was super happy We did 40 rolls And um, her car is basically a heads cam setup With uh, gears And it's on a Holly ECU So I mean her car is definitely no slouch So uh, it was good to see that my car did actually get faster from the last time I ran her. And um, and then as far as the Camaro goes, he is an automatic, so it's an A10. And uh, we got him pretty good. He's not on drag pack, so um, that is going to hurt him some. I'm on a drag pack. And uh, also, I don't have 
any of my seats in the car besides the driver's seat and it's a Kirky and he I'm pretty sure is full interior so um, I'm gonna be a little bit lighter and also um, I'm on the drag pack so I mean that's gonna help too as far as traction but uh, we did two 40s I think and a 60 so that that last one where we're the closest that one's a 60 roll um, he kept up with me for a bit on that one and then I start pulling away but um, but yeah overall good runs I was happy with the outcomes and um, again I'm just really happy that I beat the Trans Am this time because last time she got me pretty good and um, I mean the car is definitely faster and also I got some big news for you also um, I ordered a wideband for my car last week I think it's supposed to be here either Wednesday or Thursday of this week and um, basically what that means is we're finally going to be switching to prey uh, as far as tuning goes so let me just say this before we go any farther man Casey has done a great job with the car um, there's people that there's people that hate on Casey honestly and he did a great job with my car he really did the car I mean hasn't been beat by a local bolt-on car not from the Austin area at least and I mean it's ran really really strong so I mean Casey has done a great job with it as far as tuning goes um, the main reason why I'm changing tuners is because I want to run tens man and I think the, the car is there now but I mean prey has that stuff figured out like like clockwork pretty much man he knows exactly what to do and how to make it run its best especially at the track so that's the main reason why I'm finally going to switch to Prey. I've been wanting to switch to him anyways, but because I know that he's definitely the top dog when it comes to the 6 gens. But uh, I figured now, I wanted to do gears, but Texas Speed doesn't currently have them. So I was like, you know what, I'll just bite the bullet, get a wide band, and just go ahead and finally make the jump to Prey. Because I've been wanting to do it, might as well do it now. I can't do gears, so I'm just going to go ahead and go to Prey. But um, I'm excited about that. I'm excited to get to the track see how it goes see um, if we run faster I'm pretty sure we will um, and then also another reason why I finally decided to go ahead and jump over to pray is because I saw um, saw another youtuber his uh, channel's name I think is George's vlog or, or George no George loves speed I think I apologize man if I got that wrong George um, just kind of blank right now but um guy from Houston he has a I think a 19 Camaro or he maybe a 20 Camaro but um, saw his video so he's been tuned by Pat G and uh, he finally decided to switch to prey and compare the difference between the two and his, his car let me just go ahead and throw his setup out real quick it's a heads cam full bolt-on car and he also has nitrous on top of that so um, he gained just from doing NA test he gained like four tenths to the quarter on the street and then I think four tenths like 60 to 130 or something like that maybe like he gained a pretty big amount um, as far as uh, the vehicle goes he gained mile an hour to the quarter so I mean that is crazy that just from a tune alone he gained that much from going to Prey. And that just shows that Prey knows what he's doing when it comes to these six gens, which I've been knowing that, but there's a lot of people that kind of sleep on Prey. And, I mean, if you have a six gen, Prey is honestly the way to go, honestly. I mean, he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's talking about. He does a bunch of testing, and that's why he knows what he's talking about is from all the testing that he gets to do. So uh, we're finally going to make the jump to him. I'm super excited about that. And... Um, yeah, guys, the next video is probably going to be uh, getting the wideband put in and then um, probably data logging for Prey and going from there. But anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you all did, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, guys. Let's get to 1,000, and uh, we'll do a giveaway for sure. I will catch you on the next one.